Hello, my name is Asa, and today I am here just to show you one of the next steps in making the custom animatronic, okay? In this case, I'm going to make, well, I was making the fit for our animatronic, okay? Well, in this case, it's just, I wanted to show you this. I didn't record the voice, I just uh, showing you the process that it was very fast, okay? It took just like 11 minutes for me, so it's pretty simple. If you uh, saw the other videos, you I'm, I'm sure that you are able to uh, that you will be able to uh, make this kind of fit. Basically, it's just to add a cube, then add a mirror modifier to to model the two one the two uh, fit, and then we are going to just uh, use here a lob cuts. To, I created the four lob cuts, uh, loop cuts. I mean and then I just uh, extrude them, uh, use inset also, and then extrude again to take out the uh, nails, no, or the claws. It was just the idea, okay? So this is not like very complicated. And um, well, so I hope that you are like finding useful these tutorials about making your custom animatronic. Also, I added some loop cuts here, okay? Just to uh, have a, a more complex uh, geometry and then I'm going to add a subdivision modifier to smooth everything. Also I selected the material for the cloth and that's it and then I assign a white material. Remember that the basic things with Blender is just to try to experiment but I recommend, I highly recommend that you watch my previous tutorials that are very 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 long. But with that thing, you can get an idea about the basic tools with Blender. The main ones are Extrude, that we activate with E. The, also to change uh, between selection modes, like, I mean, we have three different, remember, Vertex, Edge, and Face Mode. So, in Edit Mode. So, if you learn how to use that, uh, you will be able to model almost anything you want. Also, uh, another thing that I use a lot is inset, activated with the I key in the keyboard. Or also there is another one that it's very useful that is bevel. In this case, I didn't use bevel, but well, this is another option you have. For example, check here, I added a subdivision modifier, but to make them look better, I add some loop cuts to the nails. And that's it. That's the way you have this thing. And then you just select here some faces. I selected some faces and enable a, in this case, oh, yes. Okay, I selected these faces and I and I activated here this one, this option that it's pretty, pretty cool. So that you are like moving everything and it's like everything is like connected. Yes. So well, I hope that you enjoy these tutorials and if you want to see more, please don't forget to like this video. My name is Asa and this is the final result. We have the fit for these things. Also, remember to apply all the changes. I mean the mirror modifier and the subdivision modifier when you finish. And then you just separate the meshes to have two individual uh, foot and then you will uh, uh, you are ready to export this. Well, I will see you in the next episode. My name is Eduardo. Bye. Bye.